Okay, so we've got a right angle triangle for this question, and we've got two lengths and an angle, so it's going to be a, tr a trigonometry question. But it's going to be on the non calculator most likely, so we need to try and find a way of finishing it off. But I'm going to start it as I would do normally. I'm going to go to the right angle, go opposite that, and that's your hypotenuse. I'm going to go to the marked angle, opposite that is the opposite. And the one left over is the adjacent, and that's the one between the right angle and the marked angle. And then, then go cross out the one we're not using. Well, A is 1 centimeter, O is X, so H isn't useful to us. I'm going to write out so ka toa, which obviously you need to know off by heart, which are the three triangles, trigonometric ratios. Now, we're going to cross out the ones with H in, because we're not using H. So we're left with TOA. Now TOA stands for tan the angle, which is 60 in this question, um, equaling opposite, which is x, over the adjacent, which is 1. And because we don't have a calculator, we can't then finish off this question um, without using the method I've described in an earlier video. So I'll leave a, um, a link in the description, where you just write out the numbers 0, 30, 45, 60, and 90. And the idea here is to work out the exact values of tan 30, tan 45, tan 60, is you circle um, the one you're trying to find. Well, here we're looking for tan 60. And you put the numbers on the left as a square root over the numbers on the right as a square root. So with this, it's going to be square root 3, because there's three numbers on the left, over square root 1 which just equals root 3 over 1. So to find out the value of x, well, if tan 60 is the same as root 3 over 1, and we've got the adjacent as 1, then x needs to be root 3.